Hi, I'm Dylan Blaylock with Clackamas County here today with Commissioners Mark Scholl and Martha Schrader. Thank you so much for being here today. We are at the Tuckwilla Springs redevelopment in Gladstone. The grand opening of this is opening later this month. I should start out by noting that both commissioners, as with everyone on the Board of County Commissioners, is a commissioner of the Housing Authority of Clackamas County Board, and this redevelopment is a project of that. The big takeaway here is that this is the first redevelopment within Clackamas County to utilize funds from the Metro Affordable Housing Bond Funds passed in 2018. Commissioner Schultz, we'll start with you. Um, can you talk a little bit about the goals of the board as they relate to affordable housing in Clackamas County? Certainly. The uh, Performance Clackamas is the county's strategic plan. In that plan, we intend to build 1,500 affordable units to house people with low incomes. Right now, we have 950 units either complete, in development, or committed. So we're convinced that we'll meet that goal of 1,500 units by 2025. That's great. This is a good milestone. And now, Commissioner Schrader, you were very involved in making sure that the Clackamas County Veterans Village became a reality when it opened several years ago. One aspect of that site is that the residents, the homeless veterans on residence there, have access to supportive services on site. Is this site that we're in now, Tickwell Springs, similar to that? Uh, yes, actually it is because residents will have access to supportive housing services and funding for these services came from the Metro Supportive Housing Services measure, which was different than the bond measure, and also the state's permanent supportive housing program. Services are going to include care management, um, uh, on-site services, uh, medical care, behavioral health care, uh, connecting to education employment possibilities, and access to healthy foods. That's great. So, in a nutshell, why is this development important to each of you? Whoever would like to go first. Well, Tukwila Springs is a step in the direction of providing needed housing to residents of the county with low incomes. Mm -hmm. But it's only step one. We have other projects we need to get underway to actually make housing in Clackamas affordable so that our young people can achieve the American dream, Dylan, of buying their own home. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a lot of work to do, a lot of zoning to do, a lot of work to do with our state legislature to make that happen. But we are convinced we are on the right track to doing that. Great. Yeah, this is an important piece of what we do as a county because we really do provide not only the sticks and bricks of housing in multiple areas, we also have a hand in having those supported services to our residents. It really is a county role that I believe that we are filling really well and we're kind of on a course to expand. We're on a course to help the most, uh, more of the most vulnerable folks in our communities. We are on a course to work with our cities to provide housing, as well as get wraparound uh, services to citizens in the county who happen to live in a city. This is really a big step forward for our county, and it's a privilege to be part of it. Wonderful. Well, very well said. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. So for uh, Clackamas County Commissioner Mark Scholl and Martha Schrader, I'm Dylan Blaylock with Clackamas County. We will have more information uh, in the weeks upcoming for information on the Tuckwilla Springs redevelopment. So thank you very much. Goodbye.